first match of the first point of the match. There's been a number of handouts, and the women use traditional scoring here of nine, and the tin is higher. It's 19 inches, and the men play on the 17-inch tin. It's 4-2 to Nicole at the moment. She had a four-love lead. Great boast, great retrieve by Nicole. Oh, an example of that speed you said there. Absolutely. That she'll have to uh, end up motoring at the front of the court a lot while she's playing Rachel, that is for sure. Oh, that's nice. a good counter drop. And it brought with it its own prize. It brought the point. Two, four. And she really does lead the game at the moment. Could be in trouble here. But good recovery. Down. Well, there's a lot of subtlety coming from the Australian at the moment. Great use of the whole of the court then. Got both the girls. The ball was out of court. Good attack and counter-attack from both players. Great shot. Uh, a good rally and finished in style. And out. Six, seven. I would suspect that Rachel will not be happy because she did seem to be controlling this game. But it's still very tight. It's good depth. Amazing recovery. Absolutely. <laughs> that was incredible. Well, two amazing athletes. And the first game going Nine to Nicole seven. David. To David. Her and her sister from a town called Toowoomba in Australia. For a long time, I didn't think there could be such a place, but I understand there is, Sarah. Got to be a winner. That's the one. She needs to hit those straight. Yeah, that was too easy. A Rachel bit obvious, was onto isn't that. It? Yeah. yeah. Three eight. Game point to go two lever in the 2007 British Open. Works out. Wow, it's a terrific lob, and we've talked about the use of the lob in. It's tight. And with it, she produces an opening. Can she punish it? It's up. Good defense from Rachel. But surely a shot too far it is. And Nicole David leaves this court and she's two love up. You're right, Sarah. They are blindingly quick, these girls, aren't they? Yes. Oh, a bit nice. more height and it's been punished. Oh, that's a nice deception. 
twists their opponent. Tight. And out, 1-4. It's eventually the bread and butter shot that wins the point. A tight side. Quite a long rally, this one. This will be heard in. One is up. Somehow squeezed it off the wall. That's terrific get. That nearly went out as well. And finally, the cross court is too much for Miss Grinham. again feel we're in the heart of the battle now three Too oh tight. and the young lady from Toowoomba comes back the Australian makes it one two Nicole David really has Nine something three, to think about to now rhythm. Dragging her opponent forward, looking for the scraps off it to punish. And that's tight. And a great get from the Australian player. Down. And finally an error. And um, just preparation before the matches. Obviously everyone does a fair amount of warm-up. There's a nice behind-the-back <laughs> shot there by Rachel. That is, that is the talent of her. She, she's... Uh, she never does anything the way you and I would elect <laughs> to do something. Well, there's certainly a little improvisation there, wasn't it? This is a smashing rally. The crowd will be enthralled by this. Oh. And a very limits to keep it into court. And the strength of mind to keep the rally going, not taking a cheap option. That's courageous. Both of them, like two gunfighters shooting it out. Oh, great recovery. This is a hard rally. Sarah, they're going to be sucking for a while after this. Yep. Oxygen Someone, debt. Someone's going to be hurting. Oh. Yeah, an appreciation, quite rightly so. Look at that. They watched the special rally there. Lob and drop shot game that she's been doing from Cole. Bob. Making her work. And it's working. And all this will be giving her confidence. You can see Nicole Five breathing four. there. That's been hard work. And Rachel is not breathing as heavily. And I think Rachel's tactics are definitely having an effect, as you've said, Sarah. You could hear Nicole grunting as she tried to retrieve that ball because that's hard work. She's certainly asking questions of the world number one. And what a read again. Oh. Ah, the scream because she knows it was read so well and she was lucky to get another bite of that cherry. Can she do it this time? Can she take it into five? That was a great serve. Yes, we have a match here. She's back from two love down. She's back to two all. We have Ten the eight. fifth to Game play. Two, Grinham. two games all. Six love, two all. It's the fifth. It's the British Open. Manchester holds its breath. Are we looking at a huge surprise? Oh, oh look at that. that! Unbelievable. That has to be the shot of the match. <laughs> I think that's the squat shot of the tournament, Sarah. The gods are with you when that happens. Absolutely. Rachel was down and out. Yeah, champions don't die down and give up, do they, Sarah? No, and she is going to fight. 
She's uh, giving it everything she can now. Well, surely she's going to finish this off. It's no, it's gone down. Eight one. Match she four. is on the brink of tying this up. Her second match ball. Can she do it this time? Oh, we didn't have long to wait. She's done it. Rachel Grinham is the 2007 British Open champion. And what a victory. Two love down. She has come back against the biggest favourite for years. And she deserves it. What a tactical match. 3-2. In one word. Your third British Open title. How does that feel? Shocking. Um... I know, I mean, I think, I think this is the, the best win I've ever had. I think, um, you know, obviously to win, to win the British Open already twice was, was a good achievement, as I said yesterday. And, um, but, that, you know, that was a couple of years ago and, you know, I haven't been winning tournaments for a while. So, um, you know, it was kind of looking less and less likely for me to take this title again. And, um, you know, yeah, it's always one match at a time, you know, at these tournaments, all the matches are hard. But, uh, yeah, it's really unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy. This is, as I said, I think this is my most satisfying win ever.